The NBA's off-season is full throttle right now, with each team scrambling to pull off the moves needed to put their best foot forward. And the Dallas Mavericks just pulled off a mega trade with the Houston Rockets, one that'll help their team go forward faster. Want to know more about the Dallas Mavericks trade? Keep watching for all the details. Let's begin. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2K22 and Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. First up, Dallas Mavericks and Houston Rockets have had a major trade deal. The Dallas Mavericks have, by all accounts, been most often an average team. They're certainly not at the bottom of the barrel, but they're also not on an A-list. That hasn't taken away from their popularity over the years, with over 815 sold-out games. But still, an NBA team's ultimate goal is the championship, and the Dallas Mavericks only have one. In the era of Rolando Blackman and Mark Aguirre in the 1980s, they were a common face at the playoffs. After struggling for a few years after, it was the arrival of the legendary Dirk Nowatsky that gave the team its first taste of winning. Considered one of the greatest power forwards of all time, Nowitzki led his team to an NBA win in 2011. But after 21 years, it was time for him to retire, and the Mavericks experienced experienced a period of drought where they couldn't even reach the playoffs. And then came the 2019 Rookie of the Year Luka Doncic, who helped them return to the playoffs in 2020. In 2022, the team reached the Western Conference Finals. Now the Mavericks are doing their best to use all their resources to pull in the big stops. They've acquired Christian Woods from the Houston Rockets and are looking to become title contenders in the coming season. Next, the Mavericks just acquired Christian Woods for five players. While the Dallas Mavericks history might might contain four division titles, two conference titles, and even one championship, it's not enough. It doesn't let them even scratch the surface of teams like the Boston Celtics, Los Angeles Lakers, or the now greatest Golden State Warriors, who just got yet another championship under Stephen Curry. They need to make a new team as great as the one they had with Dirk Nowitzki, and they're busy doing just that. When they acquired him in the draft in 2018, it was already obvious he was one to watch. A gifted Slovenian player, he was the perfect new cornerstone the Mavericks needed to rebuild their team around. As long as they played their cards right, Donkick was just what they needed to challenge for another championship title. They've been smart with their options too. As the Houston Rockets were looking to rebuild around newcomers, they wanted to trade off veteran Christian Woods, and both the Mavericks and Miami Heat had their eyes on him. With the former coming out on top, it's clear that whether a gamble or a power move, this might be just what the Mavericks need. As the Rockets rebuild, the Mavericks try for a new cornerstone. This season has been filled with teams looking for trades and drafts to fill in the proverbial holes in their roster to make an iron defense and offense. We've seen considerations from the Denver Nuggets and the Chicago Bulls are also looking to level up. And obviously the Dallas Mavericks are no different as they try to address the issues the team has to make sure they have a solid chance for the title. Part of the efforts to make Luka Doncic their new cornerstone and create a solid team around him culminated in a blockbuster trade with the Houston Rockets. They gave up a whopping five players for power forward Christian Woods, it looks like they're hoping to usher in a new era with Doncic aided by Woods. It was the Athletics' Shams, Karina, and ASPN's Adrian Wojnarowski who first announced the trade on Twitter. In a surprising deal, the Mavericks traded over Boban Marjanovic, Trey Burke, Marques Chris, Sterling Brown, and the 26th overall 2022 pick in exchange for Woods. And most people think that they came out the winner in the deal, considering that Woods Woods can bring to the table. Next, Dallas Mavericks looking to become major title contenders. Truth be told, the Houston Rockets did expand their roster of new stars as the trade meant that they now have the 3rd, 17th, and 26th overall picks for the draft. But if you ask people on social media, many think that the scales are tipped in the Mavericks' favor as Woods has a good chance of creating a rapport with Doncic. Many believe that while it's a shame they won't see Doncic or Marjanovic, the Rockets got the short shorter end of the stick considering that Christian Woods could bring to the Mavericks. But what exactly does the power forward bring to the table? For one, the Mavericks have a problem in their lack of size, and even if Woods doesn't completely address that, he's still an upgrade over the other Mavericks. He's not the best player in the league, but his last season average was 10.1 rebounds per game, more than any of his new team members in the past three years. The 6'10 
player also doesn't lose his spacing and shooting skill in return for size. Part of the reason the Houston Rockets seem to have offloaded him for cheap comes from rumors that he has behavior problems. He was suspended for a game after he refused to return to play in the middle of one last season, but moving to a new team, he'll probably take it in stride and give it his best. Now in other news. Will the Miami Heat target Mo Bamba? The Dallas Mavericks made a run to the Western Conference Finals, but their need for a starting center was on display throughout the postseason. Every game was started by Dwight Powell, with Maxi Kleber playing most of the minutes. Kleber's ability to stretch the floor and knock down jumpers helped the Mavs win its first two playoff series since 2011, but he was a bit overtaxed in that role. Nico Harrison, general manager and president of basketball operations, wasted absolutely no time on finding his team an upgrade as the Mavericks traded for players that were outside their playoff rotation and the 26th overall pick in the 2022 draft for Christian Wood. The 6'10 big man solves the mass rebounding woes and gives them a talented big man that should play his best basketball next to Luka. Christian Wood being added fills one of the Mavericks holes, but they still have needs entering the offseason. After trading four players for one, there is space to add new players to the team. Number one priority would be signing up Jalen Brunson again. The 6'1 guard earned a large raise after his breakout fourth NBA season. Next, the Mavericks might sign free agent Goran Dragic. The Dallas Mavericks have been talking about signing NBA veteran Goran Dragic this offseason. This is not the first attempt, but there is hope that this time around the star will join Dallas. Dragic is a Slovenian national. Luka Doncic is a star in Dallas and has reportedly not only played with him on the same team, the Slovenian national team, but is also close to him. He also admitted that he saw Dragic as a role model. Dallas tried their level best to get Dragic multiple times last season. Initially, they attempted to land a deal with the Toronto Raptors at the trade deadline. The trade dealt with sending Chris Stapp's Porgidness to Toronto, and in return, receiving both Dragic and Gary Trent Jr., but never materialized. The Toronto Raptors ended up striking a deal with the San Antonio Spurs instead, and handed Dragic over to them. That was not enough to stop Dallas in their tracks, and when San Antonio bought Dragic out, leading him to become a free agent, Agent, Dallas was one of the few destinations that Dragic could possibly choose. He, however, chose Brooklyn. Dragic will once again be a free agent this summer, and Dallas is one of the teams he could decide to sign. Lastly, what the Houston Rockets need now that Kristen Wood has left. The Houston Rockets have just recently lost their veteran player Kristen Wood and are trying to make a team to compensate for the gaping hole the loss of his skills have made. They're struggling as expected, but seeing as this leaves space for young players to shine, people are waiting for the Houston Rockets to make their next move. One of the names people are going to see in this team from now on is Albert Sengen, who is most likely going to step in as a center. Another person stepping ahead will be Ben Chero. He is a rookie and people are expecting him to step into the power forward spot, possibly early on this season. Tate and Martin also seem to fit perfectly with Sengen and Ben Chero, that is, if Houston wants to put up more of a pure forward in that third role. Tate and Martin look like they could do pretty good alongside Banchero and Sengen. Either way, despite their recent loss, the Rockets have a lot of opportunities and still considerable space to grow. There is hope that the potential will not be wasted, and next year we'll see the Houston Rockets in a rather interesting position. That's a wrap for this video. Will you be looking forward to how the two teams do this season? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.